EQ pedals are usually used to boost frequencies or sometimes even boost your overall level. But EQ pedals can also make your sound better by doing the exact opposite. We are going to take away some frequencies. How <music> what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm Aaron. I play the guitar and this is ASTV. Welcome to another episode of What's Up Wednesdays and in this video, we are going to learn something that is not usually done with an EQ pedal. So let's get into it. An EQ pedal's primary function is to manipulate frequencies by either boosting or cutting. This allows the user to shape the overall tone and sometimes even the volume. The outcome would depend on where you place the EQ pedal on your signal chain as well as on how you manipulate the frequencies. The truth is, it's a part of a guitar player's nature to boost everything. We max out the tone knob in our guitar, we max out the gain in our amp as much as possible, we boost the volume, so everything is about being louder and more intense as much as possible and as long as we don't create disturbing and unusable noise. This goes as well for an EQ pedal. The usual usage of an EQ pedal is to boost the mid frequencies because this is what is needed to cut through the mix. But in this tutorial, I'm going to share with you something that is not usually heard of. We have here again our maxed out preset. With the EQ pedal engaged, here is how it sounds like. Turning the EQ pedal off, here is how it sounds like. As you can see in here, without the EQ pedal engaged, the tone sounds muddy and seems to be all over the place. Here are the settings of this EQ. Negative 12 dB on the 50 Hz. This gets rid of the muddiness and the unwanted bass frequencies. Negative 9 dB on 300 Hz. This makes the tone sound more pleasant to the ear and reduces the nasal characteristic of the guitar tone. Negative 9 dB on 4K because this is where the whistle frequencies are. And lastly, negative 9 dB on 10K. This smooths out the unwanted sharpness from your guitar tone. In terms of placement on the signal chain, I place it after the cab simulator because I want my EQ pedal to shape my overall tone. Also, through this, I will be able to achieve something that is similar to a mastered tone or a tone that has gone through mastering. This will be very helpful if your setup is like mine, which is going direct to the front of house. All in all, this method makes your guitar tone clearer and more pleasant to the ears. This is by getting rid of the unwanted bass frequencies, controlling the mids, and taming the high end. So there you have it! This is how you can use the Ampere 2 Stomp's EQ effect to make your tone clearer and better. If you find value in this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well so that you'll be updated the next time I upload a video. Stay tuned for more episodes of ASTV, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out!